I'm Tyler Wilde for PC Gamer, and you are seeing a bit of Battlefield Hardline, which I got to play a bit of last week. I also played Hardline last year, before it went into beta the first time, and my main criticism then was, okay, here's a cops and robbers themed Battlefield game, which is a pretty cool idea, but it still sort of feels like I'm playing Americans vs. Russians, except there are cop cars. And that's not really what I was looking for. So, after that point last year, after the beta, Hardline was delayed to this year, and now it's going back into beta, and I am happy to see that a few things have changed. Among the changes are some little adjustments here and there, such as that LMGs and explosive weapons now have to be found in supply caches throughout the levels, instead of equipped as part of a loadout. Now that doesn't make a lot of sense, but it feels like a small attempt to keep from having five criminals running around with rocket launchers, which is even more absurd. Also interesting is that the two sides now have different weapons in their loadouts. You know, one criticism last year was, okay, well, why would the cops have an AK? And why would criminals have the same kind of weapons as the police? It doesn't make a lot of sense. You know, it was all totally symmetrical, which to me seemed antithetical to the cops and robbers theme. Suspect eliminated. So with this change, okay, maybe the two sides guns might still be very similar. And I do know that if you play for hours and hours and unlock everything, you can use the enemy team's weapons in your loadout. But it's still nice to see an attempt here to differentiate the sides a bit. Hardline is also taking some cues from Counter-Strike. For instance, holding your pistol while running will make you run faster, and Visceral says they wanted everything to go faster, and they also wanted to encourage sidearm use, because, you know, if you watch old cop movies, you're going to see them with their pistols out, not so much with a submachine gun out. I mean, I don't know if that's actually going to catch on, and people are all going to run around with pistols, but uh, it's, it's another attempt to adhere to the theme. And another way it's taking after Counter-Strike is that there are going to be two 5v5 modes designed for esports, which feels a little odd for a Battlefield game, but I didn't get to play those modes, so I can't comment on how well they work. The main new mode I did play, however, I thought was really, really great. Hotwire is like Conquest, where the two teams have to capture and hold control points, except that the control points are marked cars. And all of the film's speed, once you're in control of a control point car, you have to keep driving it around as fast as you can to maintain control of that point. And if one of those cars is destroyed, a new parked car just replaces it, and the teams have to rush to get there first. So it's this totally nonsensical expression of a battle between law enforcement and criminals, like why are the police running around stealing cars and then driving them in circles, and equally why are the criminals doing that? But I don't really care that it makes no sense, because it's really, really fun. At any given moment, I was either racing to get to a parked control point first, or chasing down an enemy car, or driving for my life as the enemy tried to blow up my car, maybe from a helicopter, maybe from another car. You know, it's really just designed to generate non-stop car chases, and I do not see anything wrong with that. My biggest criticism of Hotwire is that the car and car physics just isn't up to the task of simulating cool crashes or really being useful in the fight. You know, I tried taking out cars by ramming them, but that didn't exactly work well. You know, I mean, unless I hit them head on and maybe slowed them down or nicked them and got them to hit an obstacle, I was mostly just kind of bouncing off them, stuttering, rubber banding, all that fun stuff. That said, the stubborn car physics does encourage some teamwork because you really do need other players in your car, hanging out the window and, and shooting at the enemy car to get anything done. And, you know, being that guy, hanging out the window was actually really, really fun. I think it was some of the most fun I've had in any recent Battlefield game, I guess, 3 and 4. And that's not to say I'm completely sold on Hardline, because I'm not. You know, it needs a stable launch, the netcode needs to work well, um, certainly better than it has in previous launches, and, you know, I'd like the cars to act a little bit less like Hot Wheels. And most of all, I'm concerned that Conquest will just become the most popular mode and everyone will play that, and it'll kind of feel like Battlefield 4, but mm, some guys have cop uniforms on. And that's not what I want, you know. Visceral's stated intent is for this to feel like a big crime action movie, and 
I don't think that's going to come across if it feels like I'm fighting another war, if I'm fighting World War III. And, you know, Visceral hasn't taken what they heard last year and completely overhauled anything, and that would be crazy to expect in the amount of time that has passed. But my outlook is better, because I, I have seen some changes that interest me, and I'll be really curious to see what the feedback is after this second beta, which, if you're watching this video on the day it posts, goes live tomorrow. Uh, and if you're not, then uh, you'll have to uh, figure out time, which is difficult. But, you know, we'll find out. Maybe Hotwire is as great as I say it is, or maybe it actually can't sustain the kind of fun I had when I played it for just a couple hours. And then there's all the stuff we haven't seen yet and probably won't see until the March release date, which is March 17th in North America and the 20th in the UK. You know, there are, there are other modes, there's the campaign, and we don't know a whole lot about that stuff. I mean, we've heard about it, but that's nothing like actually playing it. So we'll find out about that stuff later on. But until then, I will be in the beta playing and uh, hope to see you guys there. And thank you so much for watching.